Hi, we're here to talk about composting and mulching your leaves on your own property rather than having the village cart them off. A couple of reasons for this. One is our uh, tax costs. The other one is that it's a valuable commodity to keep on your property. Um, initially, you'd like to reduce the volume of the pile of leaves you have. If you can run them over with a mulching mower or uh, through a shredder, you'll reduce them by a factor of 10. So 10 bags becomes one. Uh, Mark right now is going to demonstrate how to, how to reduce this pile here. Mark? This is what a mulching mower looks like. It has a flap on the output that actually keeps all the uh, leaves material grass also inside under the deck so it gets chopped up over and over again. At the result here you'll see that the pile is much much smaller. You'll also see that it's far finer. This increases the surface area to enable the, uh, the uh, organisms which, uh, which uh, activate the decomposition to uh, move faster. So we'll take this, this material and we'll put it into our three bin composter which is easily constructed of discarded pallets. The reason there are three bins is because the bin I just I just uh, deposited into is the active one. That's the only place I put new material. Once it's full, I move on and I find that this material here is ready for use in my garden. I'll remove this, use it in my garden, and now I'll have another empty bin. The bin you see here in the middle is kind of in between. It's probably a month or two into the process. You'll see that it's moist and generally speaking you'll see earthworms in here but there are other organisms that you can't see. What you've got when you're finished it's uh, partly a fertilizer but very much a, a soil conditioner. There are a lot of trace minerals in here that are, are difficult to acquire any other way. So what you've, what, what you've done is you've taken something that fell into your yard by, uh, by a natural process and you're going to return it to your own, own property, your gardens, your beds, your, uh, your lawn. If you want to uh, utilize the, uh, the, the uh, reduced leaves, the, uh, the mowed leaves, this stuff is great for mulching beds. Just put it right on, on your flower beds. It's going to protect them from uh, variations in temperature. It'll also protect them from variations in moisture. It holds moisture. Some folks just run the mower over dry leaves on the lawn and let the, let the mulch stay in place.